Let's do it. Oh, Mitchell, better fish. Oh. Got one. I took no time. That little bit closer to what we're after. We made it. Look at this day. For better or for worse, Mitchell, this is what kind of day we have today. Yeah, I mean. What do you think it is? I mean, we're not gonna get beat up. No, I, I, I'll take this all day, every day. It's gonna Beautiful. be suntan weather out here shortly, I feel like. Yeah, it's, it's probably gonna get warm today. It's a little chilly right now, but. But. Sun's popping up. What is going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. I'm flying a drone right now, trying to catch back up to us, filming some hopefully dope B-roll sequences, you know? Uh, don't, don't even see it though. I don't like the way I fly those drones. But where are we at today? We're at a place where we've been requested to film several times and- uh, Very small body of water. Yeah, just a little tiny lake out here. But we've never actually filmed a video here before. I've been here a couple times before. Mitchell has never been here. And uh, that is, we're fishing walleyes today on Lake Superior, on the South Shore in particular, which is kind of a an area where fish kind of dump out of a river system into the main lake as kind of summer goes on to keep it short and sweet with you guys. And then they end up Wanna grab it? out here spread out throughout the lake. And that's Ooh. kind of the deal. But obviously look around for a second. We'll kind of take a little slow pan maybe. The first thing you notice is that it's a lot of water. Second thing you notice is it's unbelievably flat out. <laughs> yeah. um, both of those things could probably work against you on a lake like this. But yeah, um, basically what we're looking at, to keep it short and sweet, big shoreline flat, slow tapering sand and rock. What does that say about the way we're probably gonna fish today? We're gonna troll, we're gonna cover tons and tons of water. And that's not a secret. Most people that are fishing out here are generally doing a trolling pattern. Yeah. Now there's obviously other ways you can always catch fish, but for sure we're gonna start out trolling to try and find fish. and we're probably gonna try to stay. Well, we'll get into that, I guess. Maybe we'll just start trolling for now. Always the biggest part problem is getting around fish on a system this big. Lake Superior yeah. does not have walleyes loaded throughout it. Lake Superior has walleyes living in relatively small areas on a much bigger system where the water temp actually stays a little bit warmer, where you have creek mouths, rivers dumping in, where there's actually an ecosystem that kind of supports walleye life. So um, we got to spread some lines. We got a whole bunch of summertime crankbaits on, some planer board rods, some lead core rods, a little bit of everything. This bite is generally known as a, you're probably going to be catching more, mostly larger fish and generally if you are catching eater fish it's not a ton of them in my experience but like i said don't really know for sure right. essentially anything we catch is a win today isn't it yeah absolutely i mean what's your what's your my expectations today aren't very high just because we haven't been here so <laughs> but with that being said like you know anything is good i don't care if it's 14 inches or if we could put six fish 20. in the boat i'll be happy i'll say oh, that yeah today. that'd be a good day for sure right there look at that fish on <laughs> all right we are hooked up number one of the morning out here on the big lake mitchell what is it though what fish do we have uh, ain't no doubt son what really? this is gonna be feels like a good one it's gonna be oh, it a is. nice walleye not big there's definitely potential for larger fish but i'm gonna drop a waypoint asap because think this body water holds a big fish I don't know. You know, it's don't it's know. got some decent size to this this lake, I'd say. <laughs> I would think so. It's a little bigger than maybe your average puddle, but number one, it feels good. And this bite, you can just already feel it's going to be all about covering water, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be slow. This is just a flipper size one, I think. Nice fish, tons though. And tons nice of fish. Water. And we're going to do it nice and slow and easy here. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. He doesn't look hooked. No. Oh, actually, not, it's not too bad. It's not a bad fish at all, is it? No, it's bigger than I thought it's it was. It's probably like you don't want to flip too many, too much bigger than that. But there we go. It's a good live well sized fish. <laughs> if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, there we go. Number one. I'm going to get them popped off real quick. We've actually got a fair amount of requests to come fish here, haven't we? Yeah. At least yeah. I have. I don't I, know if, I if you never have, have for walleyes anyways. I've done this a couple times. By no means am I an expert. Yep, but uh, there we go. Now, 
couple times I have done this, this bite is not, this is not generally the average fish you catch. Generally there's a lot of fish. You don't always catch a lot of eater size fish out here doing this, but there we go. Number one, and that one came on like that black chrome one too, didn't it? We'll let that guy go. It's Hopefully do it again. Fish right here. Fish. That one? I think oh, so. Oh yeah. Yep. Fish on, boys, right there. Yes. All right, Mitchell. Good we ain't been at this for very long, have we? No, we have not. We've First going on a board rod. I'm liking that. Did he hit it pretty good or just kind of? Yeah, seemed like a decent bite. I just put a tail not dancer really. on that one back a buck 20. Not really pulling it back. There we go. Some fight. We are cruising at two and a quarter going into the current though. Well, Out on these like... Great Lakes. Oh man. Oh, there you go. <laughs> wow, Mitchell. What is going on here? I don't know. Drop a waypoint right here though. Yeah, I think I already did. Oh, got two of them there now. All right. Well, out on these Great Lakes, as I was saying, you get a lot of this natural current. That'll blow this way. Then it'll switch and come back at you. I always like trolling into it more than with it. Yeah. But be aware of it because if two miles an hour going one direction is not two miles an hour trolling in the other direction, obviously, because your bait's doing something very different. I can see your fish back there. Can you? Okay. Yeah. Here, back up. I'll grab your board. I got her. Sure you got it? All yep. right. Here's a nice eater size one. Oh, there we go. It's another one right there. I mean, we'll take them. You know, this is definitely needle in a haystack style fishing. But as you guys can see, you know, we've caught a couple fish now. And it's all been doubles, meaning that kind of when we're getting around fish, there's little pockets of them. Not big, definitely has the potential to produce much larger fish than that right there. But hey, if you're coming out looking for a limit of fish, how are you gonna complain with that? That's what you're after. Mitch has about the brother to that one. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is, yeah. But we'll take Just it. Giving them a cross right now. First time doing this this year. Can't complain. Can't, can't complain, complain. can't complain. Oh, God. Gosh, they look tasty, don't they? They do, they do. <laughs> and this is a lake that can, you know, afford to lose a few eater fish out of. Yeah. More than likely, considering it's 20 million acres. You still might not get me to do it, though. And if it is, it'll be one right at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, little guy, definitely not keeping that one. All right, guys, Mitch just broke in. He just christened a new rod, which is available in the 2B Fishing Genesis Trolling Rod Series. You guys have seen me troll these rods for a long time. And for a long time, I wanted one that was like a fully glass rod with a very soft tip. And I finally got one. It's a 7.2 moderate fast action rod. And 2B actually has all their trolling rods in stock right now, whether that's the longer 11 and a half foot outside rods, your eight and a half foot telescopic board rods, your 5.3 back inside lead core rods, or the 7.2, they're all available right now on the site. So I'll go ahead and link them down below like I do in every video. But if you guys are looking for a trolling rod, definitely check it out. Mitchell, better fish. Oh. I don't know oh. if you guys just heard our little business meeting. Right <laughs> crappie uh, now. Crappie now. Coming to a crappie lake was, near you. I got real enthusiastic because I was about to say first ice, I'll go hammer those things. Mitchell, this is bigger than doubled. Oh, yep. Give me some. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just not as big as that one. That's my side of the boat, this is your side. Swap right well, now. You know, you know, I just saw the rod going boom, boom, boom. And <laughs> the guy's talking about crappie now, and I was like, well, I got nothing better to do. I'll grab this fish. Yeah, it's not exactly how it went down, but close, nice, I guess. Close. I'm 60 back. We might actually want a net for this one. Really? This this fish isn't feeling too bad either. All right, so, no net. Every man for himself. Did you back there? It's no, kind of didn't. by our other little. Oh, taking off on me. Really? Taking off on I think me. He's pulling line. Yep. Is that line. like a trout or something? No, it's a walleye. You sure? Mitchell, I told you when we, I told you this morning, I was like, Ooh. these fish. Yeah, this is feeling. I was like, these fish will run when you get them, I'd boat. It's feeling nice. They're like a too. wild caught Atlantic salmon. A grass, what? Grass fed wild caught oh, Atlantic salmon. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. You ever eat grass fed salmon? Yeah, I love grass fed salmon. God, are they good, aren't they? I'm a grass fed kind of guy. <laughs> All right, I'm 20 feet back. Dude, he's pulling. Yeah. Is yours big? I, I mean, it's. 
it's big enough where I don't want to put the rod down, but I can, I'll, here, I got here. it. Here, just it. at least get me the net back going. here. Bring, bring your fish in, I got it under control. Go ahead. All right, here, he's gonna, he's gonna pop right here. Get on the back deck. Yep, yep, yep. It's always on this little short rod you get a big fish on. It's awesome. Oh, nice one. Nicer? Oh, nice yeah. fish, nice fish. That. Ready? Oh, he's not hooked good at all. Oh, no. Come on, Rachel. Got it. Got him, got him, got him. <laughs> all right. There you go, take it over. Here, I got the net. You get yours. <laughs> oh, that got oh, sketchy. Man. Well, that's getting exciting, huh? For sure. We'll take that. That thing was not hooked good at all. I thought it was going to be I know. He actually came sure. off in the net. Came off in the net. I don't think this is going to be that size, but it's uh, bigger than the last few we've caught. That's good. I might try down to... there. What's it? You jump down. I'm going to take this bait out of the net here. Oh, we might need a net for this one too, Tom. Yeah, probably. Right. Is he pulling line? Yeah, he's pulling line. I can't, I don't see him yet. No, okay. we're good. I got him. You sure? Yeah, he's just really You don't just want to put two in there to put two in there? Yeah, we could. He's, he's not, nice. He's not hooked good. There we go. There we go. Not Two at a time out here in Lake Superior, man. Ooh, Give me that's, some. That's how it's been, too. It's been Boom. Like just double up, double up, double when up. When you catch them, you double up, and that's how you know they're potted up. That little bit closer to what we're after. Probably, you're not going to see, you'd probably see a better bite if we had a little wind, there I would go. say. Eater. Eater fish. Right eaters there. and big fish. Yeah, this I'll one take really, it. really pulled for an eater fish. Good. Yep. All right. There we go. That's what we're after. Let's get more of that size, huh? For sure. They pull like a freight train. Keep his head into the where the water's going. And away he goes. See you later, buddy. All right, guys. So basically what we're doing here is we're trolling a big shoreline flat. And it's a very slow taper all the way from like 12 feet all the way out to like 30 feet. And we're just kind of, we started out kind of going in. We kind of started putting baits down about 15 so we could kind of bump into 17 cup out to 25 and still have baits close to the zone and as kind of we've caught a few more fish here it seems like that 20 25 foot range is kind of where we want to put baits at so on my far up inside here i got baits about 19 20 down on the far outside we're running baits just uh, a couple feet 22 23 down the lead core we're running these things just kind of just up off bottom which are two down rods and obviously it's nice having two lead core rods with at all times because if you're doing a trolling pattern like this you could put those baits wherever you want and you can run anything on there so if our board rods unless we're going to run lead on the board rods which we could do as well but it's always nice being able to at least have an option where obviously you need big baits to dive 20 feet where obviously your lead core rods we could run smaller shad body baits on here husky jerk kind of suspending minnow baits on here if we wanted to and put them wherever we want they're very adjustable so um, that's kind of the program so far run a kind of a combination of board rods and lead core and uh, trolling that 20 to 25 foot range will that change as the day goes on maybe but it's so far this is kind of what we're doing and one other big piece as long as we're talking about information here we'll just throw up a screenshot looks like this kind of where we're trolling you can see it's just a big flat now one thing that's important is you can see these clusters of waypoints that's where we're hitting pods of fish so you can see how it's like and each time we catch a fish we pretty much catch a double, fish or two or three whip you know, kind of right next to each other. So as I kind of take a different course through the spot each time, you know, what you hope to do is end up with, you know, oh yeah, there's a pot of fish there, there's a pot of fish there, there's a pot of fish here, pot of fish here, and we'll just connect those dots. And then if we go through like a half mile stretch where there's no fish, obviously we don't have to troll that again. We just loop back up to where we were catching the fish, keep going back through it over and over to kind of uh, um, connect those dots and have a more successful day. You got this back. Just want to put it right down in there for a second. Yeah, look at that. Right oh, cool. right there. My gosh, I wasn't even paying attention right to it. Cool. How's it feel? Ooh. Ooh. Just went over a pod. Oh. And they made it really close to bottom. I wish I would take a screenshot of it. Why didn't you? Come on, man. I wasn't even sure if there were walleye. He's to be honest with you. Yep. Shoving a dang cliff bar in his mouth. Cliff bar. This this could be a. Oh, the only fuel that keeps you going all day, all night. Yeah. It's true. The best part is, Mitchell, you never even have to go to the bathroom once you eat one of these. Because it's just a rock in your digestive tract. That's true. For days. Right, 
like I'm up on feel. the surface. The, it's like a decent it just fish. looks decent from way out there, but we'll take them. We'll take them. I'm just kind of bobbing back down, going deep, going deep. He's so, digging. He's digging, Tom. Oh. No. Yeah, no, this thing's no. fighting like a large mouth. Look at this. Now that I've seen a pot of those fish, wow, did something like just. He's probably cheat cooks. So don't pull <laughs> Dude, hard. I'm not. It, it literally felt like a monster yeah, fish just grabbed happened. it. One hook was in the front, one hook was in the cheek. Yeah. The front hook popped, and now he's just in the cheek. Yeah, so when he came really hard. Shook hard. Here we go. Nice fish. Yeah. I'm in. Oh, Mitchell, you're scaring me. That shit, that's not me. That's I'm fish not is crazy. I want to. Yeah, he's actually not bad, is it? Oh, boy. Oh, Mitchell. Oh, no. Oh, no. What a nightmare. I think he's over it. And what that means, yeah, he jumped over it. I'm telling yeah, you, it's, yeah, it's a bass. I bet I should just like start doing the bass guy, like, oh, I got it. Don't do anything. Just ridiculous. let me, let me be me, and we'll be good. Come here, buddy. Oh, it's a really nice fish. Yeah, it is. No complaints on ones this nope. size. There, there we go. go. Nice, Getting it done on nice the big lake, Mitchell. Getting what it done a day! Day. What a day to be alive. I can tell you this. After going over that pot of fish, though. There's a lot of bites that we're not getting right now. You want to turn around and cast upon them? I don't know. I just, I don't know if this is the kind of thing where we can know. loop back on them and cast them without just like spending way too much time looking for them, you know? I, I just feel like these fish move around quite a bit though, but I don't know. Well, generally when you're fishing a situation that's just a massive <laughs> flat go. for miles, they nice move a lot. fish right there. There we go. Get them back in and live another day. Nice walleye. Mm. Nice walleye, huh? Take them like that. Oh, that's fish right there. That's yeah, fish. There's a fish. Right there. That could be a good fish too. I think dropping that board. Did it? Well, one thing we noticed, guys, was that the lead core was outproducing yep. the flat lines. For what reasons there, Tom? The reason what? for that is our fish sitting very tight, tight to bottom. So in order to put more baits very tight to bottom. Is that of a fish too? It, go through a little pod there. It looks like it's and uh, in order to fix that problem, Mitchell, we put a lead core rod on a board. Yeah, get it down there really tight. To get it right on bottom, because that's definitely where these fish are. And my guess is, as the day got, has gone on, and a lot of times you see this, a lot of people say, oh, the fish move deeper as the day goes on. Well, sometimes they do, but one thing you see a lot is they might not move any deeper, they might just move closer to the bottom. Right. Where like right away in the morning or evening, or if you had wind, you might be able to keep that bait five, eight feet off bottom and get ripped. Where as the day goes on, you get this real flat, calm kind of stuff. And bright sun, you'll end up seeing as those fish actually just compress more into the bottom of the lake. So keeping that control where your bait's at obviously becomes kind of even more important as the day goes on. There we go, boards off. Keep the rod loaded, reel back down to the fish. I'm pleasantly surprised by how many of these kind of nice sized fish we've caught. You know, only couple kind of real quality ones i'd say and a go. couple of those little rats that mitchell's reeled in but... little rascal all right i'm gonna go for a flip oh yeah that's that? a good one nice that's a good fish huh yeah i kind of noticed that when he hit the board right Ooh. away it seemed like a better fish Ooh, angry angry no hooks in the hand today buddy Careful. no hooks in the hand today white is the color yeah sure seems like it white silverish yeah there we go Nothing wrong with that right there. Boat's a disaster, we got crankbaits everywhere. We're putting stuff in, we're taking stuff out, we're putting new stuff back out. We're catching walleyes the whole way along. Clean little buddy there, we'll let him go. Awesome, and I can tell you this, this probably is not a surprise to really anybody, but the water can get very dingy up here without like the clay or whatever it is. I mean, you could just be in like mud, dirty looking water. That's a fish. <laughs> That's definitely a fish, yep. Waypoint. But the important thing seems to be, uh, you don't want to be right in that filth, but you also don't want to be in gin clear water. Right. You want to be in some kind of mixing area. And I don't know if the camera picks any of this. The water just almost looks like a touch of tan here, Mitchell. Beige. Yeah, I'm not sure the camera's going to pick that up, but that's a good, <laughs> a good. Uh, what color would you call it? A good tip 
for the viewers to keep in mind when you're fishing this stuff. Oh, what you, color would I call it? Yeah. It's almost like a you know, like a little greenish brownish color. I don't know. Greenish, brownish, tannish. I don't really know how to explain it, but you, you'll know what we're talking about when you see it. Yes. Yes, you will. I'm going to start picking the boat up here. This is just an absolute grade A disaster right here. Yeah, I think this is like a... This is what happens when you troll. All the, the boxes come out. Fish. And you just start trying crazy stuff all the time. You feeling decent, Mitchell? Yeah. How decent? I mean, I'm not going to throw a number on it, but unless he's hooked weird, it's probably bigger than the standard 15-16s that we've been catching. I lost sight of him. <laughs> he just dove. <laughs> yeah, he did. All right, he comes. He's going to pop up. Looks oh, yeah. like he's hooked good, Nice huh? chunky one. Yeah. Go. Oh, no, he wasn't hooked good. Look at that. Oh, what a fun little morning. This has been. Yeah, nice fish. It's literally... Like 10 30 in the morning right now yeah i can't beat it can't, can't beat, beat it. it at all can you i thought we we're gonna be here until 10 30 p.m hoping we to got three to rods left in the water right now <laughs> everything else is i have fish on it the chaos of trolling sometimes can be yeah, so much absolutely fun. love it there we go get that rod out of there nice fish right there there we go get this beast back in the lake it's brownish greenish lake Turn the on. All right, guys. So when you're when you're trying to cast fish in a seemingly structureless area on a lake that spans a bajillion miles, just cast as far as you possibly can. Just cast. You just wind up and throw it as far as you humanly can. No, generally you do a lot more driving than you do actual casting. So what we're going to essentially do is put, probably helps put the trolling motor down. Yeah, you kind of need that. Sometimes. Cruise through some of these areas where we're catching fish. Use sonar side imaging and live to. Uh, try to locate a pot of fish and then we'll probably it'll probably like get really intense for a little bit of time already... if you have live you don't need live to do this no you absolutely don't need live you could do it with sonar that's one question i always get well i don't have live well don't if you don't it. have live it's good news for you because people have been doing this for thousands of years without yep. it too so yep. live does obviously make things a little bit quicker there's some right here mitchell is there there's kind of an example of it i mm -hmm. guess but... but you could find those fish at sonar too and we are fishing Acme hyper rattles. You're probably actually going to catch them here. I have no idea if this is going to work. Never seen people doing this. Never tried to do it before. There's some right under us. All of a sudden, we're just in all sorts of fish here. Worth trying. For as yeah. many fish as we caught, we always there's a ton of fish. <clears throat> Oof! Almost choked on the. Come on. Granola bar. got one i took no time oh nice it took absolutely no time so it will it. work it will work <laughs> nice, nice vertical fish jigging too. fish on hyper rattles there's nothing wrong with that one is there no it's a good fish vertical jigging fish on hyper rattles on lake superior it will work anywhere and you guys can see how long that took me and that was no no lie on how quick that happened oh do you have one too? Yeah, I pulled Stuck for a second. Kind of fix, fishing a mix of gravelly, sandy, rocky bottom here. And um, one question I always get when I do YouTube videos on this lure, the Acme Hyper Rattle. This is the biggest size. If they're not available online, I know there's some available online. Check your local retailers or go online and check retailers. And if you're fishing in an area that's a lot of rock, best thing I would say to do, keep the bait vertical. There we go. Gonna... Fish. Dude, please. Yeah, it's a fish. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Keep the bait vertical, you're gonna get snag last. Yeah. Is this the point where we're like, why, dude, if this is a big fish, I'm just gonna- like, like, why were we trolling this whole time? Yeah, exactly, but you know, <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't have found any of these fish. No, we, we wouldn't troll. have. This would've been- I should try enough. to kick the ass end over to him or kick the front end? I'll kick the ass end over to him. There we go. Oh, he must have- Oh, he just hooked a little, a little goofy, yeah. So yeah. he's not as big, but good fish though. I mean, cook, dude, I mean, how are you gonna go. beat it? There we go. There we go. And you know, sometimes nice. the reality is that they just get hooked, like yeah. right under the chin. They like to trap them in the bottom. Technique. It's just kind of the reality of how this style of fishing goes. A little two pronged approach out here. Can't beat it. Tons of fun. I'd recommend coming out here <clears throat> doing the same thing. Yeah, super cool fishery. Oh my God, dude, that could be a really big fish. Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah, drop on those. I'm going after that big stud fish. Oh, 
There we go. Got him? Yep. Nice. We well, we just came over a big pod. I saw like a, a really big potential fish out the side and cast it there. And there was a bunch of these kind of normal looking fish. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't look very big. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of those same ones we've been catching. But yeah. to catch it two different ways, to come to a place that super cool. Yeah. You know, it's got some both have basically no experience at. <laughs> yeah. Come troll a bunch and then come cast a bunch. There we go. I don't know what else you want. No, it's awesome. What a good day. Nice He's fish. All angry. There we go. Another one in the boat. We'll take it. We'll take it. Look up. He's almost nope, coming up. That net is. Think she's done, Mitchell? Me. No. You're, you're just gonna have to net. I love this net. I've had it for so many years. You're only gonna have to catch fish that are over a fifty, a, a <laughs> certain circumference now, yeah. so that you don't fall through your net. Nice fish right there. All right, well, we are officially off the water. How was your, our first experience this year? Man, Probably I've, your first ever, huh? Yeah, for walleye fishing, yeah, of course. We've, we've uh, fished out of Bayfield for lake trout, which we haven't got to do yet, and I'm dying to do it. But anyways, what a great time. I feel like every time we've gone to somewhere kind of new this year, it's just, it's off. been awesome. Yeah, it's been like, wow, how were we, how was this the first time, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was, uh, obviously caught an absolute pile of fish today you know the only way the day could have maybe been a little better is if we caught a couple big fish mm -hmm. but uh towards the end i kind of started seeing the big fish sitting you know i think you'd have to go and try a lot of different stuff to get them but hey it is what it is i have no complaints if you spent a week out here you'd probably dial in on a little bit more caught an absolute pile of fish had a good time we're already at the gas station we're gonna get some coffee and uh our, two, our 2 p.m coffee our 2 p.m coffee break <laughs> that's right and we're gonna head around back home but i appreciate you guys watch this video just a real quick um i guess i don't know how long the video is gonna be but just a quick trip little day trip up here today it's only like two o'clock in the afternoon right now so we got it done in quick order today yeah absolutely it was a blast and maybe we'll be back this fall sometime yeah and with that being said we also put um shot some con you know some very specific detailed stuff um kind of a, a longer run clip on the walleye now app that'll be found under um summer and it'll be found under natural lake and that thing will say the thumbnail will have a big superior on it which kind of breaks down the exact location we're fishing the depth the the exact baits we kind of saw the most success on as the day went on so check that out if you guys are interested in that kind of thing other than that appreciate you guys watching if you guys are not yet please subscribe stay tuned for more content we'll see you next time